Hello, hello. Hopefully you're able to see. Wish I could. Hey Gary, are you able to see and hear me? If you can type something like see and hear or something like that. This is not cool. If you can see and hear me, I've got nothing, so I do hope that I am on and that you can see and hear me. I apologize for the technical difficulties. I'm running way more behind than I wanted to. I'll try it on my other computer here quick. Breaks. Sorry guys, I'm still fielding some questions here. I thought I'd got the link out to everybody. You can can you still hear and see me, O's fan? By the way, so am I a huge O's fan. Okay, great. What do you think about that Nick Markakis to the Atlanta Braves deal? Wasn't that a crock? <laughs> My boy and I were sitting here and I said, oh boy, 
And I just kind of looked at him funny. And he said, uh-oh, what's going on? And I said, the Orioles traded Marcakis to Atlanta. Or not traded, but Nick Marcakis signed with the Braves. It was a stink fest. No? Oh boy, it killed me. He was one of my favorites. But what do you do? Anyway, good evening. And uh, thanks for attending the live break. And tonight we're going to do some Bowman Inception. And we're going to do some Top Supreme next. And we're going to do some Bowman Platinum after that. All, of course, new boxes. And all, of course, factory sealed. No games, no jokes, no gimmicks. All right. So for now, we'll put the tops off to the side. He was a great. He was a great guy, but it was time. Yeah, I agree. He. It was kind of heartbreak. It was bittersweet. He, with his, all of his injury issues and stuff like that, it, it may have been the best thing for him to do. But it still hurts. <laughs> I wanted another homegrown Oriole, you know, to root for. Just like back in the cow days. But, oh well. It is what it is. But, thanks for coming. I don't think we should give it any more time here. I apologize for keeping you waiting. But... Still got a couple people uh, sending messages here. Like I said, I thought I sent everybody the break link, but I keep getting messages. Hey, where's the link? Oh, there's one that just says can't catch it live. Sorry. Okay. What stinks, O's fan, is um, Gary, second gen star there, can't hear. He doesn't have speakers. So. Looks like it's just going to be me talking to you. But here is our inception list. I do this kind of for the guys without speakers and the guys watching it later so they know that it's live. Uh, but your name should be on there. We do have one non-payment there from Ginger R for the Indians. So hopefully the Indians, hopefully the Indians don't come up. And I'm sorry, O's fan, I hate to keep bothering you, but are you getting a nice, clear video? Is it lagging or choppy or anything like that? One of these days, I will have to get a much better computer. Looks good. Okay, great. Thanks. All right, guys. Well, as you can see from the Tops emblem there, this is a factory sealed Tops case. We're going to open it up here tonight. I forgot my razor blade. Stink. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry. I tell you, I'm about as prepared as prepared gets. I try to do three auctions or three breaks in one night. Have the auctions end a minute apart is a bad idea. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to read these off here in case you couldn't see it on the screen. Diamondbacks to Gary, Braves to Sam L, Orioles Dustin N, Red Sox Gary P, Cubs Mary Lou, White Sox Matt M, 
Reds, Joe M. Indians, apparently nobody because I never got a payment. Uh, which if you read the auction, it says about grade A jerk. Well, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Gary P. takes the Rockies, Tigers, and Astros. Jeff W. Royals. Gary also has Angels, Dodgers, Marlins, and Brewers. Armando has the Twins. Mary Lou has the Mets. James B. Yankees. Jason J. Oakland. Gary has the Phillies. Jason C. has the Pirates. Gary has the Padres and Giants. James B. Mariners. Jason J. has the Cardinals, Rays, Rangers, and Blue Jays. And Inayat, or Inayat, I apologize, I butchered that, I'm sure, has the Nationals. So, I honestly have no clue um, what I'm going to do with these Indians. If we get any Indians, we'll just have to hope that we don't. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and slice this beast open. See what we get. Good luck, guys. Okay. Now this is going to have five cards. It's going to have four autos, and it's going to have an autographed relic. So, every card's a winner. All right. Our first card goes to the Atlanta Braves. Autograph of Jason Hirsch. Who has the Braves? Sam L. has the Braves. But that is not a numbered card. They're up there in the corner if they are. Not a bad looking signature. Next, going to the Texas Rangers, which is going to be Jason J. We have Luke Jackson, pitcher for the Rangers. He's got a squiggly little signature going there. Next up for the New York Yankees, going to James B, is Eric. I honestly don't know how to pronounce that. Jagilio? Jagiello? <laughs> I'm not sure. Which is weird, because sometimes I go through and just try to figure out how to pronounce them before the breaks. Not the case on this one, also not numbered. Next up for the Chicago White Sox, which is Matt M, is going to be Micah Johnson. Not a bad looking card there. I know it's not the White Sox card you wanted, but it's still not a bad looking card. That one's not numbered either. There we go. And for the New York Mets, this is Mary Lou. This is going to be our autographed relic. Noah Syndergaard for the Mets. Looks like we've got some orange there. Nice autograph, also not numbered. Not too bad. There's our box of Bowman Inception. They weren't too awful. <laughs> Recapping. New York Mets. Autographed Relic. Noah Syndergaard. For the Chicago White Sox. Micah Johnson. For the New York Yankees. Eric Jagiello. I try to pronounce it differently each time I say it. There we go. Texas, Luke Jackson. O's fans, who was, uh, who's your teams? And Jason Hurst from the Braves. And there we have that.
Well, at least we didn't get any Indians. So I guess that's not too bad. All right, let's see. Twins and Mets on platinum. Excellent. Everybody's paid for platinum. So that, that break will go off on time. Still waiting for one fella on the Supreme break, which stinks because naturally that one's next. Oh, maybe not. There it is. Perfect. Thank you, thank you. I better send him an email back, let him know where the break's going to be. O's fan, if you haven't already, the link to my uh, newsletter is up here. My goal, naturally, is to get enough subscribers that I can offer some kind of pre-sale. That way we don't have to use eBay because this is expensive and kind of ridiculous. But it's on the screen there, and I'm going to actually put it in a text here shortly too. Uh, it stinks. Hopefully, <laughs> as terrible as it sounds to say, hopefully the next box doesn't have any Orioles in it. I've been on breaks like that. I get beat out just in the last minute by somebody, and then there's a sweet card in there. I'm just like, oh my gosh. And also, I kind of wanted to throw it out there. Oh, this is the only only the second break I've bought into so far. Oh, cool. They're pretty fun, I will say. They're very fun. But if you have a chance... Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I also wanted to throw it out there. If you're in the room and you don't have a username, you won't be able to participate in the chat. So it only takes like 45 seconds to actually make up a, a username. So if you want to do that so you can participate in the chat, you're more than welcome to. And if not, you know, no big deal. Not a, not a big deal at all, but just want to let you know the option is there. But I also wanted to let you know if you paid a couple of people that paid for the platinum auction, which I'll announce this too at the beginning of the break, but a couple of people that paid for the platinum auction combine their auctions together and then also paid for double or triple or quadruple shipping or whatever the case was. Um, I'm not a gouger like that. I'm not about to start charging people for 
tons of shipping. So I will be refunding. I'll, I'll go through them after the break, either today or tomorrow here, but I'll go through them and refund any shipping that was overpaid because I'm, like I said, I'm not going to have you pay, you know, $7 and 50 cents for shipping. That's ridiculous. So your shipping will be refunded if you did overpay. Coming up next, Top Supreme is going to be our 1030 break. Yep, we're still live, O's fan. I was seeing here, I was reading your other post, it said about you're only the second break you've ever bought into. It's a good time. It's fun stuff. So, at some point, you really kind of get, I won't say addicted, but it is easier. <laughs> it's easier than going out and buying a $90 box, $150 box. It's a lot easier. Yeah, uh, got you seven. I apologize. I was running super behind. So everything's running about 15 minutes short right now. But definitely stick around and and we're going to get break in here very soon. Supreme's actually not that bad. It's pretty cool. I mean, granted, there's only obviously two cards in the whole in the whole box, but they're nice looking cards. They're not too bad. Don't mind me reaching in front of the camera here. I'm just putting these in top loaders. So I don't have them just laying around. Oh, first one you've ever done. Good for you. I hope, uh, I hope I didn't make it too frustrating for you, <laughs> but it's been a crazy night. I had uh, payment issues, and then I had connection issues. My computer went down. My camera wouldn't work. It's just been like, ugh, ugh, but we're getting there, getting there slowly but surely. Who are your teams in this break? Is it is it Gachu or Gasu? The Mets, okay. Awesome. Some pretty good Mets in there. So <laughs> we are going to start in one minute. And this is our sheet for the Supreme Break. I'll read over them too because my handwriting is terrible. How often do I do breaks? Um, usually probably twice a month, maybe two or three times a month for now. Like I said, I want to get a whole lot of subscribers to the newsletter because what I ultimately want to do is be able to offer discounts and everybody pulls their money together. We do the break online and we do it that way because eBay is just expensive. It's expensive. You have to pay, which you don't right now, but uh, as of the beginning of the year, again, you have to pay insertion fees and you have to pay final value fees and you have to do all that BS fees. Let's see. It's oh, okay. Got you. I'll just say got you. Cause I think that's got you, which also kind of sounds like a sneeze, but Hey, that's all right. But there's the link for my newsletter. If you wanted to sign up for that, it's not going to be right away. Like, I don't want you to think you're going to get an email tomorrow that says, hey, you can buy the Mets tomorrow for, you know, eight bucks. But eventually, once I do get enough people, we'll be doing it that way. It'll be a lot easier. Do you want to sell any of the leftovers for this break? You know what? I didn't even think about that. That's a good point. One, two, three. I have four teams that didn't sell. They are the Rockies, the Padres, the Rays, and the Blue Jays. If you want them, Gary, you let me know. I mean, you want them for five bucks for all four? Oh, you know what? He can't hear me. What am I thinking? <laughs> One, two, 
I'll just put, you want the rest for $5. How about all four, Gary? You have to figure you'd be paying what four? You'd be paying four fifty for the two, so you might as well get all four. Okay, good deal. All right, so I write that in there so he can see it. He doesn't have speakers. All right, so the new ones. Put Gary, Gary, Gary. Gary. Yeah, champ, I did. I broke the inception. In fact, I have them right here if you want me to go over them quick. Let's see. We had the autographed jersey of Noah Syndergaard for the Mets. We had an autograph of Micah Johnson for the White Sox. Eric Jagiello for the Yankees, which are harder to see now because I already put them in top loaders. Nope, no Pirates. Luke Jackson for the Rangers and Jason Hirsch for the Braves. None of them numbered, which was kind of disappointing. All right, if you guys are ready, we're going to go ahead and snap open this case of Supreme here. I'm going to read off who has what. Hey, champ, who um, who do you have in this break? Just out of curiosity. I always, I always kind of like to ask that way. I can get excited with you. <laughs> Let's see. All right, I'm going to read this off here. Diamondbacks, Peter L. Braves, Peter L. Orioles, Jason J. Red Sox, Jason J. Cubs, Billy S. White Sox, Mark. Reds, Joe M. Indians, Nathan W. Rockies, go to Gary. Tigers, Nathan W. Astros, Jason J. Royals, Jeff W. Angels and Dodgers, both to Peter L. Marlins to Mark M. Brewers, Jason J. Twins, Jason J. Mets, Mike G, Yankees, Tony H, A's and Phillies to Jason J, Pirates, Mark M, Padres to Gary, Giants, Jim S, Mariners, Billy S, and Cardinals, Rangers, and Nationals to Jason J, and Rays and Blue Jays to Gary. So we are going to crack this thing open. There is my link again for the newsletter. Check that out. We got to see if we can get a crew together to get this stuff a little cheaper. So, here's our top supreme. As you can see, it is factory sealed by Tops. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's the Tops logo right in the front, so you know that it is genuine. So, good luck, and let's bust it. Okay, slides out through, and then they're in a cool box. You know what I got uh, a couple weeks ago on a break? I got the Orioles, and I spent $17.42 on the break, which was, you know, not too bad, but I spent that. It, it was a case break or something like that. So, uh, I don't know, Gary. Let me see here.
looking for a Machado. Yeah, I don't blame you. So, sorry, I've digressed here a little bit. So I get this. He goes through the case, and it was the second to last box. And he pulled it out, and he was holding the card right like this. So I had no clue what it was. He goes, oh, what do we have here? Oh, what do we have here? He goes, this might be a case hit here. And I'm thinking, ah, that's all right. And he said, going to the Baltimore Orioles. And I went, oh, my gosh. And my wife was sitting there, and she was looking at me because my face was getting all red. She said, what is it? I said, I don't know yet. <laughs> and it turned out being a one-of-one -one Brooks Robinson cut auto bat. I was amazed. Good stuff. But anyway, here's our pack. Top Supreme. Good luck. Let's bust it. Now this is going to have two cards. And we'll see what we have here. Oh, wow. Interesting. <laughs> well, they're both Japanese pitchers. The first one going to the Seattle Mariners, number 9 of 50 die cut, Hisashi Iwakuma for the Seattle Mariners. Oh, come on. Show that number. There we go. 9 of 50 for the Seattle Mariners. Uh, let me see. Who'd you get? Supreme Mariners was... Billy S. This goes to Billy S. Not a bad looking card. And to the New York Mets, which is Mike G. Aren't you on right now, Mike? Isn't this... Blue Jays and Rays for second gen. Oh, okay, yeah. Got you seven has the Mets. Awesome. Well, this one's yours, buddy. This is Dice K Matsuzaka. Autographed. New York Mets. Numbered four of 15. That is not a bad card. <laughs> cool. That's yours, buddy. Like I said, 4 of 15. Not too bad. I'm not too sure I'm crazy about the sticker autographs, but there's not really much we can do about that. Tops is going to do what they want. Yep, that's not a bad card at all. Number to 15. Congratulations on that one. <laughs> Great. So recapping our tops supreme, we've got number 9 of 50, Hisashi Iwakuma for the Seattle Mariners, die cut. And the 4 of 15 to the New York Mets, Dice K, autograph. Not too bad. <laughs> Yep, that's not too bad at all, man. Congratulations. Yep, not too bad at all. Wasn't Dice K just in the news for something? Not in the news, but I thought I saw something about him on MLB.com the other day. That's actually what I was just checking here. And I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But still, sweet card, 4 of 15. That completely works for me. I don't know, Gary. Hopefully your platinum stuff goes a little better than the first two breaks did. This contract might be up soon. Oh, okay. Gotcha. 
that old gyro ball thing he's got going. All that money they paid him to play. Sheesh. I'm going to put these. Actually, I better put this up first. What's next? I'm going to get some thick top loaders here. There we go. Are the Mets your team, or is that just who you collect? similar here with these inception cards before we go on nice that's sort of how I am with the Orioles as of as of late they're a good collectible team but I don't have to tell you, for the past, past several years, they haven't been too awful collectible. So I have my, <clears throat> I have a huge Nick Markakis collection. It's probably, yeah, I couldn't even really guess the number of cards, but a ton of Markakis cards, a lot, a few one-on-ones. I always try to keep my eye out for his jersey number, all that stuff. And now he's on the Braves. He was my guy. Yeah, Nelson Cruz gone too. They have a lot of holes to fill. And then the Yankees, well, Andrew Miller was going to go anyway, but the Yankees got Andrew Miller. I'll tell you what, O's fan, I'm thinking seriously about selling off my Morcakis cards. I'm that upset about it. I mean, he was my he was my guy. <laughs> but, hey, is what it is. All right, last break of the night is going to be Bowman Platinum. Hobby box. Two chrome autographs and one chrome autograph relic in every box. 2014, as you can see, sealed by Tops. Factory sealed. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's a shame. I remember, I first, I actually first saw him live by accident. I had no clue who he even was. And I went in, I was like, who's that guy? I was, I was calling him uh, Markakis. Markakis. All right, Platinum. We have a similar deal going on there. I'm not too sure. Maybe this product's just not desirable enough. But we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams that did not sell in this product. So if you're interested and you want to throw me an offer out for those eight teams, I'll put you in for them right now. Gotcha. You didn't see the platinum on eBay. Bummer. Uh, let's see, we have Diamondbacks and Braves, Indians and Rockies, Athletics, Padres, Rays, and Blue Jays. So, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. How about 10 bucks for all of them? Anybody interested in that? You want a Moe's fan? Okay. Who else do you have in this break? It is pentup21 at yahoo.com. Sorry, Gary. O's fan. 
Those fan got it. And who who else do you have, O's fan, so I can put your name in here? Oh, wait, you have the Orioles. Never mind. Duh. Uh, okay, so Dustin. And Dustin, if I'm not mistaken, aren't, you're one of the ones that overpaid in shipping, too, I think, right? The name sounds familiar. Yeah, and Angels, yep, I see that, okay. <laughs> That's all right. There will be another break soon. Okay, yeah, I'll make sure, like I said, either tonight or tomorrow, I'll refund you that shipping, because that's, that's outrageous. I would never make you pay that. All right. Therefore, Dustin has Diamondbacks, Braves, Orioles, Indians, Rockies, Angels, Athletics, Padres, Rays, and Blue Jays. That's not too bad. Do you do more than one box? Um, not usually. Not yet. I probably, like I said, once once we start getting more people involved, I'll start getting cases and stuff like that and make it a lot more fun, a lot more interesting. Plus, you, you know, a lot of cases, as you know, sometimes have stuff in it like one per case that way you know you're getting that one too so it even makes it that much more desirable but this here might not be another duel <laughs> it might not be but we'll see all right so dustin's got all those or, or no or yeah gary has the red Sox, the white Sox, the tigers the marlins the brewers the mariners the Cardinals and the Nationals. Mary Lou for the Cubs. Stephen W for the Reds. Stephen W for the Astros. Jeff W for the Royals. James B for the Dodgers. Sherry Y for the Twins and the Mets. James D for the Yankees. James B for the Phillies. Mark M for the Pirates. James B for the Giants. Mark M for the Rangers. There are our people. And we're going to get breaking. Come on. Yeah, that's just, I was just checking. I was like, uh, which sometimes my email's slow, so I figured it just didn't go through yet. That's still upsetting about the, the non-payer in the inception break. That was kind of stinky. But what do you do? I'm glad there weren't any of her team in there. That would have been a, a real quandary. How are we doing there, O's fan?
getting that thing through there. <laughs> you probably look like me trying to get all 90 of these auctions up and running in a half an hour like a fool with technical difficulties to boot. I will not be doing that again. There will be much more time frame between the end of the last auction and the first break. Half hour was just not enough for 90 auctions, and I should have thought that through a little better. I can't get it to go. Do you want to give up and give it to somebody else, or, or do you want to keep trying? Okay, Gary, you want to go ahead and take those teams? I'm sure no don't worry about it it's fine it's fine trust me there's uh all these computers and electronics and electronic payment systems and all that good stuff can really get you messed up you still have the orioles and the angels though correct That means Gary's got a ton of teams. <laughs> and I will be sending out all the base cards too. Just so you guys know, it's not going to be uh, one of those deals where I send all my hits and then keep the other stuff for myself. I'm just not into that. That's shady. <laughs> um, I'm not even sure. A few. Just got set up on eBay and obviously the Breakers channel here and started a Facebook page. Like, really made it official not too long ago. So, oh, new email. I bet that's it. There it is. Gary sent you $10. Yep, I got it. All right, guys, well, let's do this. We are going to crack this sucker open. Facebook page is, it's just facebook.com forward slash Mesa's card breaks, just like it's on there. I usually put little reminders on there, like, hey, don't forget. And, of course, I send out newsletters and stuff, too. But, all right, good luck, everybody. I believe this product might have the possibility of having more than one team on it. If you didn't read the auction through, basically top of the card or top most left of the card will get the card, which stinks because if you have a really sweet Yankee in the middle and there's a Padre in the top left, then Padres win it. Who did I buy? Gary, you bought Diamondbacks, Braves. Red Sox, White Sox, Indians, Rockies, Tigers, Marlins, Brewers, A's, Padres, Mariners, Cardinals, Rays, and Blue Jays, and Nationals. So you only have a couple teams. <laughs> but hey, you know, best of luck to you anyway. You know, we'll just have to hope for the best. <laughs> 
All right. There we have it. There's 20 packs in the box. He said there are two chrome autographs. Per box. And there are one chrome autograph relic in every box. So there's the empty box. My boy loves keeping these. Can I keep the box for me, breaks? So sure. He likes putting his cards in them, so I don't blame him. It's pretty fun. All right, guys, good luck. I'm going to keep this right here, this list, so I can see who gets what. Because I do. I love it when whoever gets the card is on the break live. I love it. I really do. I mean, I love good cards anyway, but you got to love them too when it's live. I'm going to try to show every card. It might not be feasible, but we'll see. Jose Barrios for the Twins. Reds. Royals. Dodgers. Red Sox. Oop, I'm sorry. That was a refractor, I believe. There you go. Bought a single pack, a local shop, they all were like, cool, who was it? Miami Marlins, Puig, Matt Harvey Red, Tampa Bay Rays, Hansen for the Pirates. They're not bad looking cards. I've never really opened these before. <laughs> oh, we got something in here. It looks like a die cut something. Sanchez for the Blue Jays. Moran for the Marlins. Should I get these closer? There we go. Grinky, Dodgers. Top prospect, Baez for the Cubs. Rosario for the Twins. Let's check out these die cuts here. They're pretty cool. Pretty nifty shape. Leave that off to the side. All right, next pack. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so late tonight. I just looked down and said, oh, my, it's 11 o'clock. Hey, there's a die cut in here, too. All yeah. Pirates. DJ Peterson, numbered. Green refractor for the Mariners. Numbered. 314 of 399. Come on. Come on. <laughs> My camera doesn't want to focus. Ah, hey, why not? You know, it goes along with the rest of the day. Jose Reyes, Blue Jays. Ooh, Xander Bogarts. That's not a bad die cut card there. For the Boston Red Sox. Who had the Red Sox? Gary P has the Red Sox. There we go. Still looking for those hits. All three are left. Let's see here. Ooh. Gonzalez for the Cardinals. There's that Eddie Rosario. Super X Fractor. Salvador Perez. Jared Weaver. Gold. Hunter Dozer for the Royals. Still some more platinum to go. There's a lot of die cuts in here. Hawk Ju Lee for the Rays. Ooh, Jose Abreu rookie card. Not bad. Hey, Jose Abreu die cut. Marco Pell for the Astros. Rob Kaminsky for the Cardinals. These are pretty nice. <laughs> there you go, Gary P. You got some Abreus. Die cut and a rookie. Not bad. His cards are always desirable. 
this year anyway, obviously. Next year it'll be some other stud we'll all be chasing. That's all right. Travieso for the Reds. Giolito for the Nationals. Stanton for the Marlins. Dustin Pedroia, Boston Red Sox. That looks to be of bluish nature. Can't tell for sure, though. Panic for the Giants. You guys still with me? I feel all alone. Somebody there just say, yup, or gotcha, or something. Just want to make sure my feed didn't die. Okay, good, good. Thank you. <laughs> Boy, still waiting for these hits. Not in there. Matt Barnes, Red Sox. Santana for the Astros. Walker for the Mariners. Ryan Braun, Milwaukee Brewers. Heathcote for the Yanks. All right, one stack gone. That means we have three hits in these two pack or two stacks here. Seager for the Dodgers. Reese McGuire. That one's numbered. That's a gold numbered right there for the Pittsburgh Pirates. That is numbered 19 of 50. Boy, these do not. want to show up. Let's start way back. There we go. 19 of 50. It's not bad. Anything numbered to 50 or less is always cool. Davidson, White Sox, Prince Fielder, Rangers, <laughs> Odor <laughs> for the Rangers. Pretty sure it's like odor something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it, but odor. That's funny. Sue, so, next pack here. You have to forgive me for leafing through them first, but I just love wondering if the I, I hate wondering if the hits in there. <laughs> Robert Stevenson for the Reds. Hanson for the Pirates. Latos for the Reds, David Wright, of course for the Mets, Blackburn, Giants. All right. Wow. Dominic Smith for the Mets, Goldschmidt for the D-backs, Solaire. For the Cubs. That's not a bad card. That's not a bad card at all right there. He's a stud right now. Urias for the Dodgers. Austin Tyler for the Yankees. Getting anything you like so far? Those are values are pretty nice. I mean, I know they're not auto, they're not relic or anything like that, but they're still sweet to have. My, my, my. Austin Meadows for the Pirates, Russell Athletics, CC Sabathia for the Yanks, Cole Hamels Blue for the Phils, Andrew Heaney Marlins, and not a hit yet. Boy, I think this one's got a hit in it. I can almost promise you. Oop, looks like I was wrong. Mondisa Royals. David Dull, Hanley Ramirez, there's a Machado for you. Jonathan Gray, guess I was wrong about that hit. One of one, Mike Trout, jeez, that would be amazing. A lot of people get ridiculous with his cards, though. You go on, oh, there's a hit. 
There's a hit. They keep him backwards for us. Austin Hedges. Andy Romero. Check this out, Gary. Another Jose Abreu card. A power first baseman card. A little see-through hole there. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen this one. Yeah, that's pretty neat indeed. <laughs> 4,000. Jeez, I believe it. There's another Solaire. And let's see here. Who's got the Twinkies? Sherry Y. Byron Buxton. Check that out. You want to know what's cool about that? Look who's on the box. <laughs> Byron Buxton autograph. On card. Numbered 20 to 50. 20 to 50. Byron Buxton for the Twins. That's a sweet card right there. Yep, that is a sweet card. Looks like they got a little frizzy corner here on it. But yep, there's our first hit. And it's a nice one. Look at my mess. Not professional. Low number, heck yeah. 20 to 50. I'm loving it. We still have two more hits to go. Hopefully there's nice or even better than that one, because that one would make me happy if I had the Twins. She also has the Mets, so if you see the Mets coming up, <laughs> you can hate her forever. <laughs> oh. Alcantara for the Cubbies. Crick for the Giants. There's a Bogarts rookie card for the Red Sox. Flores for the Mets. Dahl for the Rockies. And ultimate scouting experience. Waste of time. Waste of space in a pack. Two more hits to go. And one of them is an auto relic. So, let's see what we've got. Whoop, there's our next hit. Oh, no. That is sweet. It's bittersweet. I'll say that. That's your teaser. Bittersweet. Freed for the Padres. Ortiz, Big Poppy for the Red Sox. Almora for the Cubs. Cubbies are really busting it up in the base card and die cut department here. Moran, Miami. And check this out. Going to the St. Louis Cardinals. Gary P. Oscar Tavares. Rest in peace. Signed. Look at that. As, as you may or may not know, this young man uh, unfortunately perished here a while back, not too long ago at all, but his cards are still desirable. Oscar Tavares, they're not going to be any more. Yep, RIP indeed. There you go, Gary. That's a pretty good hit right there. That is a nice card. Nice card indeed. Ugh, what am I doing here? It's not like I have any kind of horrific dirt and filth running around my little studio here, but I'm going to top load those autos right quick, if you don't mind. Which means nothing left now, but our auto relic. And I am not displeased at all with the autos in this pack so far. Look at that. Buxton and Tavares. Jeez. I think we finally got us a good box here. All right. That is nice. You're not kidding. Nice card indeed. It's not in this one. Shipley for the D-backs. Oakland Athletics. Kimbrell for the Braves. Beltre for the Rangers. Gold. Santana for the Astros. All we need is a real sweet Oriole now, right? Because Gachu's not in the break, I don't think. So, I don't have to worry about upsetting him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Franco for the Phillies. Uh, Guerrieri for the Rays. Joey Votto. McCutcheon for the Pirates. 
die cut. And Brian Goodwin for the Nats. Holy moly, one of these two packs has an autograph relic in it. It'd be sweet to get it. <laughs> There it is. No, that's not it. I think that's a yeah, that's a stupid bum in his back card. Kingham for the Pirates. Stratton, Giants. Buster Posey for the Giants. This is an Evan Longoria. Bowman is back. Waste. Alfaro for the Texas Rangers. All right, well, I can't help but think there's got to be an autographed relic in this pack. <laughs> All right, auction's over. Have a good night. Thanks for coming. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, it's in there. It is definitely in there. You see the thickness? That hits in there for sure. Vizcano. Cubs. Amora for the Cubs. Oh, not another Cub. Delano de Shields. Holy cow, for the Astros. <laughs> and going to the Chicago White Sox. And no, sorry, Gary, it is not an Abreu. It is an Andre Rienzo autographed relic. What in the world is behind me making all of those? Horrific colors. That game used memorabilia, autograph, and jersey. Not numbered. I will be honest, not as sweet as the others, but still not bad. Not bad at all. So, I'm not going to recap obviously every single card. Uh, but I'm not displeased. I'm really not. I know this didn't, this didn't go over real well with the public as far as being, I mean, obviously you look at it, we had eight teams that didn't sell, but to get that, Rienzo, look at these guys here, Byron Buxton, 20 to 50. And Oscar Tavares, the late Oscar Tavares. Who's the current? Yeah, for Gary. So Gary's, you got two of the hits here. So not too bad at all. These are sweet cards right here. I am pleased. Pleasantly surprised. But like I said, hey, it may have not done the greatest, but we didn't do bad. I mean, that Buxton, I'd, you know, I'd buy that card from her. She emailed me tomorrow and said, hey, you want to buy it? I'd probably buy it from her. Hint, hint. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but we also have Reese McGuire, 19 of 50 for the Pirates. Which, who was the Pirates? Mark. Some Abreu's in here that I kept out. Because, I mean, you know, Abreu's always the guy you look for. But you have those and a bunch of other die cuts. We had Peterson for the Mariners, numbered 314 to 399. And then our inception, Noah Syndergaard for the Mets, autographed relic card. Micah Johnson for the White Sox, autographed. Eric Jagiello. For the Yankees. Luke Jackson for the Rangers. And Jason Hirsch for the Braves. And then our Supreme was, uh, like I said, it was a Japanese box. Hisashi Iwakuma, 9 of 50 for the Mariners. And the Daisuke. Four of fifteen autographed in our supreme.
So what do you think? Not bad cards, huh? Not bad cards at all. Well, guys, that's the end of the break. Is there anything, while I have you here, anything you guys want to see busted that you think you'd like to get in on on a break? I mean, I really like that Inception. That does well. People like it. Every card's a hit. You know, it's just like everything there is something that somebody can get into. But is there anything before you go if you can think of, you say, you know what, that's what I'd like to bust open. I know there's some new stuff out like Dynasty and stuff like that. That's like $400 a box and there's one card in it. So <laughs> that'd probably be a pretty tough sell. Like, all right, take an awful big risk for one card, you know, especially if it's a $100 card. I mean, it's cool to have a $100 card, but not when you pay $400 for it. That's the downside. <laughs> but if you think of something, shoot me an email. Those Platinums are nice. You like the Platinum? Like I said, it didn't sell that great, but they were the nicest cards of the night. As far Well, I don't know. That Dice K was cool, though, too. That Dice K is a good card. But that Buxton 20 to 50, that's a good card. And of course, like I said, no more Tavares cards. So <clears throat> I don't know how desirable it's going to be going forward since he, you know, obviously didn't get a chance to really prove himself in the majors too much. But, but yeah, if you think of something, shoot me an email. Uh, when you get my newsletter or whatnot, you'll be able to, which I'm going to put it on there one more time. You'll be able to uh, get in on it and we'll, we'll see what we can do. Platinum's nice. I like the Supreme. Yeah, me too. I, I'm not. I'm not displeased with any of the cards. That's for sure. The Inception. Eh, uh, <laughs> not having any numbers. You know that was. That was yeah. That's better as a case. Yeah, that's what I should do. I should just buckle down and get a case. But, and I don't want to make tons of money. Obviously, but I don't want to lose tons of money either. How are the triple thread boxes? They're they're pretty cool. They're pretty good indeed. In fact, you know what? Earlier I was talking about that Brooks Robinson card. That wasn't uh, Supreme. That was Triple Threads, now that I think about it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, crap. I said that was Supreme, but it wasn't. It was Triple Threads. But, yeah, they're pretty good. They're, they're cool to get. They come in a, a nine-box case and I think a 12-box or something like or 16-box or something. But they are pricey, but they're good. I like them. They, they, uh, they turn out some pretty nice cards. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll look into that. I mean, if you guys are interested, I'll see about it. It's definitely easier to get some input than just drop back and punt. So, And as you'll you'll figure out pretty quick, I don't really get into football cards or hockey cards or anything like that. So, I bought up some Jones and Machados on eBay. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> I definitely would too. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you coming. I'm sorry again I was so late. Um Next time I will not be doing it in the order that I did it this time. So, but I appreciate it. Like I said, if you want to want to see anything busted, shoot me an email. And we'll we'll see what we can do to get it rolling. But I uh, thank you very much. Enjoy your cards. I'll get them shipped out here in the next day or two. Well, obviously not tomorrow, being Sunday, but I will. Uh, I'll get them shipped out as soon as I can. My handling time is usually pretty quick. You can ask Gary. He's he's gotten from me before, so I try to get them out the next day or two days max. I don't want to hold on to your cards and I know you want them. So I see you guys later. You have a good night. Bye.